Welcome back to the channel guys. In this video I'm going to be showing you how you can change your computer password. Now keep in mind this is going to only apply for a local computer account and not a domain joined or an office account. So yeah, let's get started. So the method I'm going to be using is going to be through the CMD or command line prompt. Uh, there are various other methods of changing your password but I believe the command line is the easiest once you have the command and which I will be providing you in the description so you can just copy paste it and modify according to your needs so as you can see I'm logged into my computer now this is a virtualized desktop it's not in my actual computer as you can see I'm running a workstation on VirtualBox uh, on my main Windows computer so I'm just gonna go ahead and full screen this and uh, as you can see I'm currently logged in as AJ Kumar which is my username and uh, the first thing we wanna do is open CMD and make sure you run it as the administrator so you can see so you simply type CMD in the search bar at the bottom here CMD it brings up the app you click on the run as administrator and once you do that uh, it's gonna prompt you click yes not twice okay so this will let you change password for any sort of accounts except though the domain account uh, most of the users don't have domain accounts so you don't really have to worry about it but uh, the command we'll be using is net use so I'm gonna type that here uh, let's net user and make sure you add the name of the the account so in this case my username is AJ Kumar so I will be putting that AJ Kumar and just simply type a star at the end that's gonna prompt you to enter a new password so I'm gonna I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna just type the new password here and it's gonna ask me to do that again and voila it's done my password has been changed as you can see password the command completed successfully and the password I, I set to was 8080 you can set a numeric password you can set a combination of numeric and alphabetic uh, it's up to you so what we'll do is we'll go ahead and lock our computer and you can see I'm on the lock screen and I'm just gonna try putting in so it says pin and you, I can switch to password and I'll type 8080 the password I set it to and you can see it's 800 and there that's changed. Now that is the CMD version. How you can use it through CMD. Again, don't worry about this command. I'm gonna put that in the description. Just basically type net user and the username of your computer and a star at the end. And it will just ask you to put in the new password and you'll be done. Another method if you don't want to go through CMD and just you want to use the, the GUI, graphical user interface. Uh, there's another trick uh, which involves you pressing some keys on the keyboard now since this is not a actual computer this is like a virtualized environment so I'm gonna have to issue the command from the option uh, it's so in in actuality on your computer you need to press control alt delete keys on your keyboard all together okay so you have to press all three of them at the same time on your computer when you're changing the password. Once you do that, you're going to be prompted with these options. And as you can see, there is a change a password option. So basically click on that. It's going to show you your username. It will ask you for your old password. So my old password is 8080, the one I just changed to. I'm going to keep the new password 8002 because I just... I don't want to change it. I'm just showing you guys. And as you can see, even the new password is a 0 I'll hit that and it's done. Your password has been changed. And uh, if I lock again. Oh, shoot. I just signed out.
which is not a problem um, so we can log back in again 80 and there we go so yeah that's about it with CMD you can change password without knowing your old password and with the second method you need to know your old password in order to change it to something new so that is the difference uh, again the commands are gonna be in the description so you can copy and if you have any questions feel free to ask me on the comment section and I'll be able to answer them as soon as possible thank you for watching